Reconciling Service, the Million Veteran Program, and the PAUSE Act. I'm Army veteran Earl Scott, and that's all coming up next on VA News. Major news outlets for the past few months have focused on the drawdown of our nation's longest war, Afghanistan. While news coverage debates the decision to cease combat operations, veterans from the war should remember the positive to help reconcile their service. While some troops have reconciled their service, not all have. Veterans should be on the lookout for red flags if news of Afghanistan starts changing behavior. These include isolating, using alcohol, drugs, or any increase in unhealthy behaviors compared to normal. This could even include things like excess work or video games. To search more for a PTSD program near you, visit va.gov directory and select PTSD program from the menu. With the PAUSE Act, veterans struggling with mental health conditions will be eligible to receive service dogs through a pilot program approved by Congress. Mental health service dogs are tasks trained to assist people with PTSD, panic disorders, anxiety disorders, depression, and other conditions. They can retrieve medication, bring their partner an emergency phone, call 911 with a canine rescue phone, turn on lights, and help with emotional overload, among other things. A study found veterans paired with service dogs exhibited fewer suicidal behaviors and ideations after 18 months of working with a service dog. To learn more information about this story, visit congress.gov and search PAUSE Act. When Army veteran Kayla Williams had three friends diagnosed with breast cancer in the same year, she wondered if their time in combat had anything to do with their illness. Three of my women veteran friends who are combat veterans were all diagnosed with breast cancer in the same year. It's honestly made me a little nervous about what may be in store for me. And I'm not confident that there's enough information in the civilian sector to identify whether or not I may be at increased risk based on my background and my military specific exposures. I'm very hopeful that the Million Veteran Program offers an opportunity to ensure that women veterans like me know what else we should be concerned about and also whether or not we can try specific treatments. More than 845,000 veterans have enrolled in the Million Veteran Program, making it the world's largest genetic research program of its kind. With veterans' data, cutting-edge genetic breakthroughs are published every year. 15 minutes and a blood draw are all it takes to make a lasting difference. Learn more or enroll today at mvp.va.gov. That's it for this edition of VA News. I'm Earl Scott. Thanks for watching.